Hey friends, welcome to Night Graphics. In this video, we will be making this abstract background design. Before we start, make sure that the Smart Guides option is on. Alright, let's start drawing our design. Pick this rectangle tool and draw an artboard sized rectangle. Change the stroke size to none and we will fill it with a gradient color. Come to the gradient panel and click here on this default black and white gradient. Now double click this color slider. Here set the gray value to 50%. Now double click on this slider and change the gray value to 70%. Now click here to add a new color. From here set its location to 30%. Double click here and set its color to pure white. Now change the angle value to 30 degrees and it looks fine. Now come to the layers panel, lock this layer and name it BG. BG for background. Now add a new layer and name it design. Ok now, zoom out a bit, pick the polygon tool and draw a hexagon like this. Change the fill to none and change the stroke color to this orange color. Set the stroke size to 70. Come to the effect menu, stylize and here pick feather. Set the radius to 25. Change its opacity to 30%. Now draw another hexagon. Just go random with drawing it like this. Ok, change the stroke size to 80 and change the color to this dark red. Come to the effect menu and click here to apply the last use effect to it which was feather only. Set its opacity to 30%. Ok now, draw one more hexagon like this. Change the stroke color to this dark blue. Keep the stroke size to 80 only. Come to the effect menu and apply feather effect to it. Set its opacity to 30%. Now pick black arrow tool and select all these shapes. Press Ctrl G to make a group. Ok, now come to the layers panel. Under this layer, we have this group. For the time being, just hide this group. We will be working in this layer only. Alright, now pick the polygon tool again. Draw a hexagon like this. Set the stroke size to 50. Now we will color this stroke with gradients. Activate the stroke from here. We will be using the preset gradients. Come to the swatches panel and click here to open the color library. Under gradients, select this group of brights. Keep this window open. We will be using gradient mix from here only. For this selected hexagon, I'm gonna use this red-orange gradient. Keep it selected. Go to effect menu, distort and transform and choose transform. Set the scale to 60% for both horizontal and vertical values. Set the rotate value to 15 degrees. Tick mark this option of scale strokes and effects and make two copies. Polygon tool is selected. Draw a hexagon. This time draw a bit bigger hexagon like this. Change the stroke size to 60. Fill it with this gradient of red violet. Come here to the effect menu again and apply the last use transform effect. Draw another big hexagon like this. Change the stroke size to 90. This time I am picking this magenta gradient for it. Come to the effect menu again and apply the last use transform effect. Alright, let's draw another big hexagon. Change its stroke size to 70. For its color, 
This time I am changing this library of brights. There are many other preset libraries of gradients. Here under the library of foliage, I am picking this foliage 16 gradient. Go to the effect menu and apply the last use transform effect. Again, draw another hexagon at about this place. Set its stroke to 50. Give it this foliage 9 gradient color. Come here to the effect menu and apply the last use transform effect. Pick black arrow tool now and select all these shapes. Come to the effect menu. Stylize and pick Drop Shadow. Set the mode to Multiply. Opacity to 75%. 7 for X Offset. And 3 here for Y Offset. And set the Blur value to 5. Now come to the Layers panel. Unhide the group that we drew earlier. And lock all the content by clicking like this so that you don't click on any of them accidentally. Now pick rectangle tool and draw an artboard sized rectangle. Alright, now unlock the log content from here. Press Ctrl A to select all the content. Come to the object menu, clipping mask and choose make. Alright, here we have our design ready. Do tell us how you find this tutorial by writing in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and share this video. See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye for now.